Hi, and welcome to 10 Ghosts of the Isle of Man. Number 1. Woman in Black In the 1960s, four boys visiting the Eagle Tower at the Castle Russian in Castletown report that they saw a strange woman in black, wearing a headdress and had odd dark hands. Local legend believes that the woman was executed here for the murder of her child. Number 2. A ghostly message. One witness in a building in Castletown reports that one day whilst taking a shower they left their bathroom briefly, but when they came back they discovered that rude words had been written on the wall in shaving foam. The witness states that they were alone in the building at the time. Number 3. Smoky Woman. In 1957, the owner of a cottage in Castletown reports that a smoky female figure appeared in front of them before disappearing through a wall. The figure was greyish blue in colour and hasn't been seen in the cottage since. Number 4. The Woman From 1975, a female poltergeist-like ghost has been reported to be very active on the second floor of the Douglas Head Hotel. Her activity has involved appearing to visitors and moving objects around such as chairs and ashtrays, and will often open closed doors much to the horror of the guests to the hotel. Number 5. Headless Raiders In an area in the chasms in the Spanish Head, a farmer reported whilst out looking for a sheep he came across a group of headless men that surrounded him and put a dagger to his neck. The farmer passed out due to this experience. When he awoke, he discovered that he had a red mark on his neck that never faded. Number 6. The Witch Cry Ghostly cries and screams can be heard all over the Slawalian Hill in St. John's. The story goes that in the past when people had been accused of witchcraft, they were punished by being put into wooden barrels with spikes in them. Then they were rolled down the side of the hill. Number 7. Pirates On the St. Michael's Island, there is a story that says that if you knock on the door of the church, you can hear the ghostly screams of a bunch of pirates that were killed on the nearby rocks after they tried to escape with the church's gold. Ruins in the area are also reported to be haunted by entities of people that are drowned in the area. Their spirits can be seen emerging from the sea and walking in land. Number 8. Glowing Orb this report sounds maybe more like a UFO sighting. In 1985, a captain and his crew flying in an aircraft to the Isle of Man witnessed a bright spherical object that became an orange beam. Perhaps some ghostly energy, or maybe it was some kind of alien spacecraft. Number 9. Guest House A guest house in Peel is home to quite a few entities. As reports go, there are a few Victorian-dressed children that roam the building and the figure of a man that hides his face away from any onlookers. Poltergeist activity has occurred, such as locked doors opening and small objects disappearing. And finally, number 10. The Tower Man. At Port Erin, the spirit of a man can be seen walking up to the tower overlooking the bay. It is believed that the man killed himself in the area, though some believe it may have been murder. That's it for this 10 list, thank you for watching, have a good day. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already.